Well, howdy, it's uh, Bill Rose again, the founder of the American People's Liberty Party. And uh, I'm coming to you as an advisor. Even though I founded this party, I did turn it over to all the OWS people. This is their party, they can do whatever they want with it. Speaking of parties, I was watching Tom Hartman uh, this morning, and uh, the idea came to me that the formula to take back the country is for people of the OWS movement to start taking over both the Democrat Party and the Republican Party and start a third party. So no matter who wins, you all win. <laughs> you see what I mean? That's a good formula. And uh, there's some films that I, I su would suggest that you see. One of them is uh, called To Kill a King. And it's about uh, the life and times of Oliver Cromwell back in the mid-1600s. Did you know that England had a revolution before we did? And that this guy, Oliver Cromwell, actually put the king under house arrest and then when he discovered that Parliament were still hooked up with the king psychologically, he fired them all and he brought in regular people to be the Parliament. And we're having that problem with Congress these days, because according to Tom Hartman, he said that the average wealth of the average congressman or senator went up 25%, while the people's average wealth went down. And uh, he said there was one congressman, I believe it was a congressman or a senator or whatever, that owns five Subway sandwich shops. <laughs> so these congressmen are there to enrich themselves. They're not there to help the people. They all have to be booted out, recalled, uh, booted out in the election, and right now, ask to be resign, ask them to resign. The same way as people are signing a petition to get rid of the mayor of Oakland, there should be a petition for these congressmen and, and senators to resign because they're not doing anything for the people. They're trying to crash our economy, and they're un-American. Another film, uh, of course, you probably all saw it, called *The Patriot* with Mel Gibson about our Revolutionary War. And then you should watch films about the French Revolution, how that came about and what happened, and how they became a democracy. We are a democracy, don't get me wrong. We don't need a revolution, um, not the shooting kind. What we need is to get rid of these congressmen and senators uh, who have done nothing for the people, who don't care about the people, because it seems like it's a democracy of the Congress, by the Congress, and for the Congress, or a democracy of the corporation, by the corporation, and for the corporation. And in my opinion, all lobbyists should be arrested. And so the OWS people in Washington, D.C. should be on K Street, screaming for them people to get the hell out of Washington. Now, there's another couple of things that you might want to consider to demand. Recently, there was a commission to uh, discover who stole the $60 billion from the taxpayers. And the commission sealed the report. So you have to call for them to open that report. We want to know who stole that money from us. And if they sealed the report, that, that must mean that they're involved. If they're involved, they have no business being on a commission. And the same way with the these things called puts. Before 911, there were some people who bought puts. These are like bets that the airlines would crash. Thus, they uh, made a lot of money over the fact that the airlines crashed after 911. We have to find out who sold those puts and who bought them. So that's another demand. 
and uh, you might be able to Google that and and uh, find some information on that. And I made some videos uh, on this site regarding that subject. Now, regarding the police sending homeless to your to your protests, hey, that's good. You know, I'll tell you why. These homeless people, maybe they're alcoholic, maybe they're schizophrenic, they're mentally ill, and they should be entitled to uh, disability from Social Security. So, if I was running a, an OWS site, I would have some volunteers who would collect these hopeless people and take them to Social Security and help them fill out the forms for SDI. Social Security Disability Insurance because they can't function and they shouldn't be out on the street they'll die so maybe it's a good thing that the police are sending them to you um, they're identifying them for you and you can have a, a bunch of volunteers to take them physically over to the Social Security office and help them fill out forms for their disability And that so yeah you know round up those people if they end up in your protest area and have volunteers take them over to Social Security physically and help them fill out their forms to get uh, Social Security disability because they're entitled to it. That's what this country is all about, helping those who can't help themselves. Now, uh, Tom Hartman was saying that uh, there's five giant uh, oil companies in America who all get tax subsidies and yet they're making billions and billions of dollars in profit so why should they get tax subsidies do you know that there was a time in America when there was only one oil company Standard Oil and the Congress made them break it up and so they broke it up into five groups or a bunch of groups yet they all stick together and they keep raising the price of gas on us up and up and up they're all a bunch of crooks and they all need to go to jail. We ought to nationalize the oil industry in America. And that's one thought. I don't know how you do that. Maybe you've got to run for Congress and all you people run for Congress and Senators and also start a third independent party to make sure that you get in there and you win. You have all your people in the Congress and you can say, hey, you know, we're going to put these CEOs in jail. We're going to have investigations, congressional hearings, and then if we find out that they've been in cahoots, you know, collusion, to artificially raise these prices up and down like they do, well then hell, we're going to put them in jail, you know, for like 10 years, and nationalize the oil industry for like 10 years. So that, because it's going to take 10 years to get out of this problem that we're in. So we sure don't need these, these uh, rogue CEOs raising the price of gasoline all in collusion while we're trying to go to work or trying to do whatever we have to do. We're all dependent on gasoline, and that's terrible. We should all have solar-powered cars. And we can tell them gasoline people to go to hell. Of course, that would knock out a lot of jobs, but a lot of people would then become or would go into the solar cell industries. Then uh, there was a caller who called in and said that in Oakland, there's a movement to occupy foreclosed homes because the banks don't really know who owns those homes. They don't have the mortgages. <laughs> and that makes me laugh. And uh, it reminds me of what I heard about during the last Great Depression uh, in cities. Landlords would come along with a moving crew and evict somebody and move all their furniture out onto the street. And after they left, all the neighbors helped that person put all their furniture back into that apartment. <laughs> so it was a continuous cycle of evictions going on. And uh, of course it was inconvenient for the renter but the renter never had to spend the night on the street. You know what I'm saying? So I just wonder how that one congressman or senator got five Subway sandwich uh, fast food franchises. Just wonder how he did that. I mean, that sounds really greedy to me. You know, I think that uh, 
maybe we should investigate each and every congressman to find out what their net worth is and find out how they got that net worth because they sure didn't earn it from their salaries I mean they get fantastically large salaries which is ridiculous humongous salaries then they have their own federal uh, retirement plan which they can collect after only just a couple offices in term a couple terms in office <laughs> and uh, they have a, a health care system that we should all have we should be demanding Medicare for everyone which includes dental and vision and medical equipment anything to do with your health it should all come under Medicare for everyone and uh, who was that senator who killed Medicare for everyone before they came out with the Obamacare what was his name uh, Joe uh, Joe Lieberman but that guy has to go man they gotta get rid of this guy you gotta recall him boot him out he thinks the king he thinks he's a king he sits there and goes well uh, we're gonna do this and you don't have to do that and da 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 whap right in a kisser <laughs> that's that's not a threat or anything <laughs> it's just like what you feel like doing you know but you can't do it because you can't harm any federal employee you know there's a law against that right that includes mailmen and anybody who works for the federal government if you harm harm them that's a, a federal offense now I saw uh, a tweet from Little Bite News asking uh, the people if they thought that um, martial law would ever be used against them and I replied well I don't think so unless they use federal troops or federal police to attack OWS because that would be your government telling you you don't have free speech then that might spark a revolution which might cause martial law we don't want none of that to happen so let's hope that the feds you know uh, keep their their stormtroopers or whatever they have where they belong and leave these OWS people alone and I see that a lot of uh, cities are now saying okay yeah you have the right of freedom of speech and you can occupy this park and occupy that park and any other city who doesn't understand that they ought to go back and read the history of the revolution of America you know well that's about all I've got to say I wrote all my notes on my hand you should check the videos that I made on the puts and uh, you should demand that uh, that commission open that sealed report on the stolen sixty billion dollars hey sixty billion dollars and they cut SSI from seniors and from the blind and from disabled vets and then this twinkle toe moron in California the governor is going to fund free college for illegal aliens <laughs> the guy is senile you got to get rid of him boot him out recall him <laughs>